Hello. So uh, this was the panel uh, designed for a specific uh, requirement from one of our clients. So we thought we would uh, uh, demonstrate the same uh, to you. So one of you might be having the similar kind of requirement. So the requirement was that uh, the, star, the client has this uh, 7.5 HP Borewell motor. The first requirement was he needed the uh, digital starter to be in place. And the second requirement was so since the depth is huge, he uh, wanted the auto start unit. So whenever the power gets back, he wants the motor to switch on automatically. But uh, you know he would need the adjustable power on delay. So the adjustment should be between zero to three minutes. That's, that's as per has, uh, his requirements. So what we've done is in order to cater that requirement, we've given uh, Narain auto start unit model C with the adjustable power on delay between zero to three minutes. Then uh, the next requirement was he uh, was keen on having a BCH uh, contactor. So for that we provided the BCH contactor. Then the last requirement was that whenever the motor switches on, he wanted to set a specific time after which the motor will cut off automatically. So for that purpose we have given Narain cutoff timer. So the requirement of this timer was that the client has a drip uh, system installed and so whenever the power uh, resumes he wants the auto start unit to turn on the motor. And once the set time is complete, the, the water to the drip should be shut off after maybe one hour or two hours as per as his requirement and he, sh he should be able to you know, adjust those times. So for that, we have uh, provided Narain cutoff timer. So this is uh, purely custom made as per the client's uh, requirement. This is not a standard panel. So for this, we have used all the uh, different uh, components which Narain Electrics manufactures and we have built a complete assembly. So the complete assembly sits on a base plate and the base plate is uh, covered using a uh, panel, uh, it's covered using a box, a control panel. And this is how it looks like. So there will be a cutout only for the LCD and there will be three phase supply indicators. So these are manual on and off push buttons just in case the client wants to turn on the motor. Okay. So yeah, we will, uh, uh, so the importance of having a Narain motor protection relay is as you are uh, uh, knowing. So this is a digital relay which will uh, take care of the safety aspects of the motor. So this has the dry run protection. So whenever motor runs dry, this turns off the motor. Then it has the overload protection. So just in case if motor gets jammed due to some low voltage or this will deposition, the motor is immediately shut off. And then it has built in single phase protection. So whenever the supply voltage, one of the lines is not present or one of the motor cables get cut, the motor is immediately shut off. And whatever be the reason, the reason is displayed clearly on the LCD provided on the relay. And this relay is quite rugged. Uh, it has a long uh, life. So and also uh, the relay comes into picture only when the motor is running because of which you know uh, this has a fair amount of longevity. But then uh, it also has uh, the digital lamp meter which will display the current drawn in all the three lines independently and also a digital voltmeter. So uh, the client uh, since uh, the power interruption there is huge and also there is uh, this frequent interruptions for very small uh, amount of time. So since the water is the borewell is you know a thousand feet or thousand hundred feet uh, deep so whenever there is a power cut for a small time of maybe a 20 or 30 seconds that is when you know the motor gets overloaded because the water will already be flowing in the reverse direction and the motor again tries to you know push the water in uh, against its uh, gravitation so this will cause the initial overloading on the motor so for that he would require this auto start unit with a power on delay adjustment and also a relay just in case if an overloading occurs during that time they want he wants the motor to be protected so this timer is optional again uh, he can whenever uh, he doesn't require this timer he can always uh, power it off and use it as a normal starter or he can uh, also switch on this timer as required he can adjust the timings the timings uh, the, uh, range is uh, between 10 seconds to 999 minutes that is close to 16 hours of uh, off time uh, range so we will quickly uh, have a look at the whole system how it works so we will be powering up the system now so since the auto start unit is in place so what we will do is uh, this uh, auto start unit we will set it to the minimum time so so rotating on the right hand side will uh, completely on the right hand side will make it to the power on delay as three minutes we will uh, you know make it around five to on completely towards left hand side it will be close to three seconds will be making this close to five seconds and then we will switch on the power supply so we are turning on the power supply so as soon as the power supply is present the auto start units check for the three phase and turns on the motor after the delay so 
so the delay time is slightly increased to you know, 10 seconds so as soon as this is done the motor turns on because of auto start unit so as soon as the power is there the auto start unit turns on the motor so once the motor is switched on the relay comes into picture the relay uh, continuously monitors the parameters and displays current on all the three lines and uh, it will also demonstrate or the display the settings which are made the low current and high current settings and the timer will also start as soon as the motor switches on so the timer starts up counting right now i have set a time of around one minute just for the demonstration purpose so as soon as the motor begins to run the timer also uh, ticks and whenever it completes the set time that is when the motor is turned off so uh, this is quite a uh, you know rigid system which has all different components in place suppose just in case any one of the component fails also it is easier to replace that particular component so we can quickly see the motor turning off after the time of one minute is complete okay. so there you go as soon as uh, the time is complete the motor is shut off and also uh, the power supply to the uh, MPR as well as the cutoff timer is automatically turned off so uh, I hope uh, the video was clear so just in case if you have any of these uh, requirements for the custom made panel please do contact us you can contact us on double nine seven double two four three double seven four. I repeat, it's double nine seven double two four three double seven four. You can also browse our website www.narendraelectrics.in for all our products, and also you can purchase uh, uh, our products online. Uh, thank you for watching this video.